want to make this video today because they're at it again. They just don't know when to quit. And neither do we. Kerry says U.S. will sign U.N. treaty on arms regulations despite lawmakers' opposition. Secretary of State John Kerry, that piece of shit traitor. Who is he to decide what we can and can't own? And fuck the UN. Who are they to decide what we, the American people, can own? I have a message to Kerry and to these cocksuckers over in the UN. Here's your fucking agreement. Sign anything you want to sign. It's not going to mean shit. It don't fucking mean shit to me. You know what I have to say? Come and take it, motherfuckers! Come and get it! The authorities wanted to confiscate the big gun that protected that colony. You know what the people said? Come and take it. Because they were willing to fight for their freedom and their guns. So are we. Come and take it if you want it. Come and take it if you think you can. I'm a chief of police in a small town in, in rural Pennsylvania of 870 some people. Uh, back in January, last January, I when the Obama administration and the Congress and the heathenistic packs of, of shitbags tried to come after the Second Amendment and firearms and do all kinds of nice little goody confiscation bills all over the country, uh, I was the law enforcement officer, the very first and only law enforcement officer to stand up and draft legislation and uh, declaring all gun laws null and void. This is serious stuff we're dealing with. They are militarizing the police departments. They teach the police nowadays to be vicious bastards. And I don't agree with their tactics. I really don't. They teach it to that everybody with a firearm is going to kill you. Everybody with a firearm is a bad guy. And take no prisoners. That's how they teach you. You see somebody on the side of the road with a flat tire, you pull over. This is, a, this is the excuse that they use. They pull over. Before, it used to be you pull over to help them. Now, it's you, pu you pull over to fuck them. You fuck them right in the ass. That's what they teach you. You pull over now, and you ask if they're okay, and then you, you, ask, if the, you ask to see their driver's license, their insurance, all that information, and you know what? Once you do, and then they teach you how to take it back to the police car, and you run their name to see if there's any wants or warrants, and then you go back up and you terrorize the people. Is there any dope in the car? Is there anything in the car I need to know about? Where are you going? Where are you coming from? How did you get the flat tire? Who's with you? Does everybody else have ID in the car? It's on and on and on and on and on. I'm telling you, people, this is not the way our country is. It's, turned, it's truly turned into a police state, and it happened under the Clinton administration. Clinton leaves office, that piece of shit, and then you get George Bush comes in office, all right? And then, and then he takes the reins. Now, he's not, he doesn't go as crazy, but he's just as bad, Okay. He passes the Patriot Act because these sick fucks hijacked some planes and plowed them into some buildings in New York City, you know? And then you get this, I don't even know what you want to call him. I don't even know who to call or, or who he is, where he came from, if he was a test tube baby, because this guy is like the fucking Antichrist himself. He's, he's the spawn of the devil, this motherfucker, who sits in our house right now. He has picked up the ball like nobody has ever done before in the history of this country, and he's driving it home. He's running. He's sprinting down that long-legged motherfucking lizard. He's running down the field like Jackie Robertson on crack, on meth, on, on whatever. He's running down that fucking field like there's no tomorrow with that ball. He's, t he's taking his country, and he's driving it straight into the ground, and he's chuckling. He's laughing about it. He's spitting. Him and his administration are spitting in the face of every single veteran in this country, every American patriot in the country. They're giving hundreds of millions of dollars to these fucks down in, down in I don't even, I think they're out of Alabama, Southern Poverty Law Center to label every true American patriot as a fucking terrorist. 
because they have a uh, they wave the American flag or they wave a three percenter flag. These fucking shit bags down there, the SPLC Southern Poverty Law Center. These are the kind of people that we're dealing with today, whether they're in Washington or at the local level or at the state level or at the county level. These are the people we're dealing with today. All I did was stand up and say, enough is enough. I have the right to own any kind of firearm I want. No ifs, ands, or buts about it. They can't pass any kind of firearm legislation that's unconstitutional. The Second Amendment has nothing to do with hunting or sporting purposes. Nothing. Does it even have to do with anything with self-defense, to tell you the truth? You know what has to do with it? Tyrannical government. And now you have these sons of bitches in the, in the White House and uh, in this administration and these sacks of garbage in Congress. And I don't give a fuck if you're Republican or Democrat. They all, at the end of the day, they all suck each other's dick. Plain and simple. Maybe I'm a little harsh. If you don't like my language? Then turn me the fuck off because I don't really care anymore. This is it. This is, the, this is how it is. It's all a big game to these people. They tell you, well, you can only, you can only have a certain amount of this or a certain amount of that. They, it's unconstitutional. Our Second Amendment has to do with tyranny in government. And they want us to believe that our founding fathers were just some extremely crazed out white men. Look at what they did to it. Look at what they were able to make. Just a, a, a handful of people created the greatest nation on the planet. And now we're all considered terrorists. All these, all the American patriots are considered terrorists. Over the weekend, uh, and my co-host, Pete Santilli, can touch more on this. But over the weekend, there was a shitstorm in Washington, D.C., and it's about time. They barricaded all the, uh, you know, it's, the, it's this hurt campaign. They want to hurt the American people. They want to, they came after the veterans. This thing that occupies the White House, this thing, and his thing of a, of a whatever, gorilla wife, chimpanzee of a wife, or whatever, it's just like, I could just fucking vomit and look my shit. I take a shit in the toilet. I'm more attracted to that than that fucking monkey. They're transforming this country into something that you've never seen before. I'm telling you, like this is he's holding good to his word when this thing got elected back in two thousand and eight. He's fundamentally transforming this country. He's doing a pretty good job on it. He's spitting on our, our American people. He's spitting on our military. He's wiping his ass with the Constitution and the Bill of Rights. He could care less about any of that shit. That's just a hindering to him. He's squatting in our White House. He couldn't even pass a urine test to be a janitor to sweep the fucking floors in the White House, let alone sit in the Oval Office. How is that possible? But you got whatever his name is with 20 different Social Security numbers from people from the 1800s or, or whatever, with four or five different names, just prances around and does whatever he wants. He spends money like there's no tomorrow. We don't even know who this fucking guy is. You don't, need, you don't know who his parents are. I'm not going to go about a uh, birth their this, birth their that. All I'm saying is you don't know who he is. He has several different names. It's disgusting. But we, the American people, are the bad guys. So we get these these groups of of. American patriots show up in Washington, D.C. over the weekend. These truckers show up. These veterans show up. And they've had it. They get pissed off. They go and they rip down the barricades. And they take them over to, and there's a video out there. They're taking them up to, we have a guy, a double amputee vet, riding like a, uh, I can't remember the name of him, some kind of a two-wheel scooter where you stand on it. He has one of the barricades right beside him. And he's driving right up the pavement with it, and they dro- they're throwing him in front of the White House, right on the ground. All right. Then the, the I don't know if, what police officers or where they were from, if I don't know if it was D.C. police or if it was the White House police or who it was, but there was probably about 15 or 20 of them came and pushed their way through the crowd, and they are thumping the veterans with clubs. There's video on it on YouTube. People took video of this. They're thumping them with clubs. And then they got, and then uh, the people really started going crazy. And these are unarmed people, unarmed. And we've had it. We've truly, truly had it. But that's what I want to touch real quick on all of our new listeners today. Again, if I offended any of you with my vulgarity, 
Well, I don't know what to tell you. I'm not changing anytime soon. You know, I went down that road for uh, this fucking ass master of a pastor, uh, you know, until I found out what he was all about. You know, uh, fucking creepazoid. No, they don't. They have their state run uh, repeaters, not reporters, repeaters. Yeah. When they had, uh, I heard you discussing earlier when I was listening to the show, um, how they had a, a fox, a fox nose, and I don't spell fox nose F O X. It's F A U X. Fuck fox nose. They had fox nose reporters on a corner in Washington D.C. saying, "Oh, there's nobody here. Nobody, nothing going on." Right. But then we had the alternative media, like ourselves here, like Pete and like Anthony Antonello and everybody else out there, uh, overstand in front of the White House, where there's you know. Two, three thousand people standing there screaming, you know, we want our country back. We want our country back, you know, resign. They, 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 they're asking for resignations, everything, you know, taking the barricades down, throwing the barricades in front of the White House, you know, and then they get the, the, the riot brigade come out after these people. It's fucking disgusting. Like, this is America. And I'm telling you that this administration, they... They they were able to put together the most heinous anti-American communist pieces of fucking garbage in this country, probably from the fucking planet. Who even knows if they're even Americans? But they got them. They 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 ransacked our country. They've been doing it for over. I believe they've been they've been at this for over a hundred years, over a hundred years. But now they've taken control. The same people we've been fighting against. They're sitting in the, the, the highest offices in the land. Let me get let me tell you something. Congress and the Senate, they're fucking garbage too. You call your congressman to voice your concerns as an American citizen. Okay? Guess what they do? They report your ass to their to their little whatever. They put you on a list. You write them a letter. Then you get investigated. You don't know you're being investigated. They start an investigation on you. And you keep calling, you keep writing them. And there's pictures of your family being taken. You're being followed. Pictures of your house. You name it. They know where you work, where you live, what you buy, what you eat, who you call. They read your emails. They everything gets tapped. Everything's then they start this whole huge investigation. Why? Because you want to exercise constitutional rights and demand your representative represent you, the people, we, the people. They don't like that. They don't like. They don't like it. No, I'm not anti-government. I'm anti-asshole. I truly believe in what our founding fathers started, not what it's been perverted into. Not it's been hijacked. And this is exactly what our founding fathers were talking about. We're at a pivotal point right now. We're at the point of no return. We've been trying for a long time now to get our country back peacefully. And I, I still believe we can do that. All they did was people swarmed into Washington, D.C., and they assembled peacefully. They took down the barricades. You know why? Because the fucking government don't own those memorials. The men and women who shed their blood in World War II and Korea and Vietnam, the government doesn't own them. They belong to us. They belong to the people. Who the fuck are they to tell us that we can't come visit our dead soldiers, our dead family members, the ones that gave the ultimate sacrifice? Who the fuck are they to tell us? That's what I want to know. You got to look at our country like a colony of ants. The shitbag in the White House, okay? The ants are starting to wake up. They've had enough, okay? They work it till you die. They piss on your grave. Never have I ever seen this before. Presidential administration piss on the soldiers, the brave men and women who fought and lost their lives like for this country like never before. Not even the prior shitbag didn't do that or the one before him so now the american people are waking up you got to realize something we outnumber them four thousand to one they did a survey we the american people the civilians the american people outnumber all every single cop sheriff military elected official all over the country 3,600 to 1. It's time that we start waking up. 3,600 
hundred people for every one of these assholes.